Greetings, crystalline masters of light. Happy, full, wolf moon, lunar eclipse, and cancer. Aho! Today on the 10th of January, 110, 2020, it is 10.01 p.m. Eastern Time. How y'all feeling out there? Another day and night of intense waves coming into the field. It's been raining nonstop here for about the last 10 hours. It's about 50 degrees today. It felt like a nice spring day on January 10th, when normally in Ohio it's about 10 degrees and several feet of snow, but just another day of bizarre weather and changes here on the new earth. We had last night an anomaly on the Schumann resonance chart, what looked like to be a rainbow blast of adamantian crystal light and a spike at 65 hertz. The earth is vibrating higher and higher, just like we are, and many bands of white. There is a triple, a trinity code within this resonance image which i'll post at the end of this video there were many earthquakes in uptick 144 so there's the 144 code coming in through gaia in the past 24 hours of m 1.5 or greater largest v vanuatu at 5.5 puerto rico multiple earthquakes every hour from 3.3 up to 4.8, we had a 5.4 in New Zealand, Guatemala 4.8. Last night, another sleepless night with these waves of energy, these cosmic waves coming in. I was up about 3.33 a.m. as I was walking around barefoot in the yard, taking on the divine feminine energy coming through the moon. It was interesting to be feeling those energies and taking in the crystalline DNA codes. Many light workers over the last few days have been connecting and talking about the intense energies they've been feeling. So the next three days are going to be very powerful with these galactic alignments, these galactic activations. We have the Great Ceremony, the Great Event in Uluru, in the heart of Australia, which is the solar plexus of Pachamama. Many are gathering from around the world, and also the Age of Aquarius Meditation, Global Activation Meditation, which will be tomorrow on the 12th, 11-12, and tomorrow, as of this recording, there's a new wave spell on the Mayan calendar. It will be the Blue Night wave spell. Today is the last day of the White Dog wave spell. Tomorrow, the 11th to the 23rd, Blue Night wave spell, Kins 183 to 195, Awakening the Collective Dream of Abundance. Today's first transmission through Aurora Juliana Ariel, Ph.D., a message from the Hol Holy Kumaras. Arise and shine, O glorious ones, for the day of the new dawn has appeared. Now we enter the time of glory, and with it the long-awaited advancements of souls who are now awakening and taking their part in the grand earth drama that restores a world and empower souls to rise into their full potential selves. We have long worked with those of earth to instrument the golden ages of the past. In this era, an even more illustrious age awaits, for there is a quickening in the masses that will bring a whole new template to the world. This template allows for a global transformation of such high degree that souls must either rise into its glory or depart to other denser worlds for their continued evolution. Everyone is given this grand opportunity of advancement 
and many souls are still caught in the old ways and the old paradigms that if held on to will not allow them to partake of the rarefied Edenic reality being birthed within the awakening ones now. For the world changes and that which has been lived in darkness comes to light to be cleansed and as within so without the outer reality shifts in obedience as the inner light steps into the fore and takes command of the soul's progress on earth. So it is with all souls at this time. The shadow elements must appear to be cleansed from the earth first within so that there is no creation point held holding the shadow plays that have marked each history in place. The great cleanse is taking place at a more rapid rate than ever before. Thus we come with our beloved Aurora to champion those who would be masters in their own right. We help train those who attain their yearly and other programs to become sacred alchemists and also counselors using the quest. We bring our light emanation to enhance and insist at inner levels so that each one can gain the mastery that will keep them holding in the light of their I am presence through every dark night and personal setback. The striving one attains the golden crown and finds themselves in a new reality that is blessed, abundant, and filled with every gift. For life loves to pour forth its great bounty to, to those who are ready to receive. We are with you to end of the dark night of earth, heralding in the golden ray initiations of this golden dawn. An extraordinary future awaits. This is the time we rise into the glory of our divine nature, ascending into rarefied states of consciousness, assisted by the hosts of the light. The world is awakening and transforming around us. Monthly, we are called to participate in these global healing forums as vessels of light, each divine release bringing tremendous healing, activations, and blessings to our world. It is a glorious destiny we are fulfilling together as we ascend into the glory of our true, authentic selves. And this is from the Oracle.love. And from Master Lady Kera Ra with the Divine Directors. The full moon lunar eclipse is now. All the big choices are before you. We are speaking with thee now and invite you to relax and be here as we share. People do not know us because we are trying to fit into a model that does not exist. Why have we been feeling unsupported or misunderstood? when the truth is that we are clear and we are aware. This is the moment of experience that will defy the words and the world, embodying the depth that together we are better and the breath that energy carries through a collective yes. From those who are aware, we can offer a new model that has existed before and is ready to exist again. We are all who we have been waiting for. It is time to stop waiting and start experiencing. This is the message of 2020. It is simple and it is vast. The dragonflies have begun their dance and the universe is speaking. Why is it that we are not organized? What paradigm does that even exist within? To be organized is to simply be living the gift of who we are, supporting each other and coming together as one voice, with unlimited expressions. Your divine presence is frightening to those who would seek to call you crazy. They are afraid because deep within their own sense of self, they know you are not, and yet to call you sane would mean they would have to gaze at their own being. This is the choice that all are awake to. The choice to gaze at your own being, to awaken consciousness or the choice to intentionally not gaze, both are the journey. And when the choice is to not see, then it becomes frightening to believe that seeing is even possible. The level of consciousness that cannot accept possibility or expanded thought as an option within the creation is the density consciousness experience. It is afraid of that which it cannot understand. 
and it cannot understand why it is afraid. And the level of consciousness that chooses to gaze at its own being and open to the eyes of the divine soul lifts through the energy of compassion and witnesses the fear through the gateway of ascension awareness. This compassion understands the fear and surrounds it with love, fully understanding that it cannot possibly understand. Therefore the embodiment of forgive them, for they know now what they do. True compassion, this is the moment at hand. And so it is, there is more. From Sri and Kara dot com and from Astro Mama, Lunar Eclipse in Cancer, Nurturing the Soul, Healing of the Distorted Feminine and Masculine, and Massive Wake Up Calls. On January tenth, eleventh, the moon, which rules our emotions, soul, and inner compass, becomes full at twenty degrees of Cancer. Cancer the fourth zodiac sign represents the home, the mother, comfort, security, and nourishment. We have now entered into another eclipse cycle. Lunar eclipses are full moons with ten times the intensity and power of regular full moons. They herald massive completions, endings, and manifestations. This is even stronger as the moon is at home, as she is the natural ruler of the sign of cancer. Brace yourself. This baby is going to be the most emotional lunar event of the year. The lunar eclipse in Cancer is here to awaken, a desire to bring nourishment and comfort to our lives. There is a softening that wants to be established, and this could feel rather emotional and full of intensity. Our soul is wanting connection to Source, and the themes of security, mothering, and safety are huge with this lunar eclipse. Major dynamics around the home and family are highlighted with La Luna and the sign of the crab, due to the fact that this is an eclipse which signals changes and shifts, we could feel that some aspect of our soul and emotional states must alter and transform. Endings and final chapters are being acknowledged with this moon. We might want to hide from the depth of our emotions, but the lesson of this lunar eclipse is to face our feelings and step forward with integrity and honor embracing our feminine and masculine polarities with peace and reverence will be major themes at this time the magnitude of energy of this lunar eclipse is also being felt by the aspects la luna is making to her other planetary friends both saturn and pluto are opposing this moon at 20 to deg 22 degrees of capricorn saturn is the planet of karma restriction obligation and patriarch Pluto is the planet of transformation, power, death, rebirth. Capricorn, the tenth zodiac sign, deals with order, structure, destiny, responsibility, and mastery. The lunar eclipse opposing Saturn will create a push and pull between our emotions and obligations. It is as though we want to go to the depths, but our inner masculine wants to resist the pull to be too emotionally driven. The lunar eclipse opposing Pluto will set up a power struggle between our security versus our evolution to change. The dynamic between both will set us up for some extremely emotional and karmic situations to play out, perhaps with struggle and intensity. The healing of the feminine and masculine sides of our identity is huge with this moon cycle. We will need to deal with the distortion of both if we are to bring such healing to both sides. Surrender is a huge theme and something we must be faced once and for all. We can't hide from the disconnect. We must walk towards both sides with humility, honesty, and courage. The lunar eclipse in Cancer is here to honor the depth of our feelings and the beauty of our deepest emotions. No other sign can be in the depths of their feelings as the moon in Cancer. There is an opportunity with this lunar eclipse to place old traumas connected to our mother or inner feminine to rest. The yearning to embrace and accept our divine nature will be strong at this time. Remember, if things are falling apart, it is essential to still care and protect yourself with the love of your inner mama. The lunar eclipse in Cancer is here to bring finality and endings to our inner struggles of neglect and lack. 
La Luna home and her sign of crab is here to awaken our inner nourishment, balance out the feminine and the masculine polarity, and create a sense of inner peace and hope. If you have any inner planets or point angles in or around 20 degrees of Cancer, then this lunar eclipse will be particularly powerful and life-altering for you. And this is from Astro Mama. And today from Elizabeth Peru. We are about to reach a cumulative energy point of January as the moon becomes full, followed by a lunar eclipse. This cosmic event has helped you to bring deep, lingering insecurities to a head so that they can be acknowledged and released over the coming 24 hours. If you've been restless, unsure, and tired or motivated, inspired and vibrant, we all experience these eclipses differently depending on our life cycle and readiness to shift. Then the coming 24 hours could see you making decisions easily, seeing and accepting a situation from the heart space, opening up and letting your deep truth flow. Right now we're on the verge of our first big shift of 2020. The full moon eclipse is here and it will make it easier for you to let go. You have the full backing of the sun, moon, and earth on your side. So you could feel emotional, unsure, or on the edge. It's okay. That's normal right now. You're ready to release the past. From ElizabethPeru.com And from the Zolkin Times, White Cosmic Wind. Cosmic is the name for the number 13, and its key words are transcend, endure, and presence. It's the last day of the white dog wave spell, and on the last day of any wave spell, one needs to digest the experience before moving on to the next. Today is white wind, and its key words are communicate, breathe, or breath, and spirit. Communications on a cosmic day can be tricky. Endure to communicate. On the other hand, we can also transcend communication from spirit. However you slice it up, it's quite a powerful day. Make your communication count. And if you need to either send or receive communication from spirit, the channels are wide open. And from Christina Papa Giorgio, White Cosmic Wind, Kin 182, 10 January 2020, 10 one 2020 equal 1014 equal 6. 10 manifestation power leadership. 1 new beginnings. 6 heaven Christ consciousness. Kin 182 equal 11 equal 2. Partnership, cooperation, duality. An expansive day with lots of expansive divine love and guidance from spirit to carry you forth into new realms of creation. And so we arrive at day 13, the final day in the white dog wave spell of unconditional love, loyalty, devotion, service, friendship, and faith. Today, as we close this 13-day journey, with O.C., the invited, devoted white dog at our side, we have carried and arrived at the greatest lesson a soul could learn that the pathway of love is the only way to reconnect with Source and reclaim our divinity. Hopefully this journey has revealed all that was holding you back from experiencing yourself as love in all aspects of your being and your life. The tone of creation, cosmic, is the last and final tone of creation, the highest octave. Tone 13 operates in the spiritual realm. 13 is the mystical number of the cosmic order, the goddess, and the synchronic natural time. Today you have incredible spiritual power at your disposal to transcend all those old patterns that have blocked the inflow of love, releasing the limited conditioning where the world and all its trappings dissolve into the cosmic mists. We can transform them by our pure presence, translating into pure bliss. We have arrived. Add some, I am here. This is the stage of having transcended the physical, emotional, and mental realms and arriving at cosmic consciousness. So today we can be still and realize the connectedness of all things through the web of creation, transcending all but the power of divine love, 
through the frequency of pure internal presence, total cosmic expansion, have journeyed from human love to discover the expansiveness and pure presence of divine unconditional love as a potent creation force throughout the cosmos. Finally, let's go cosmic, the transcendent dynamic that runs the whole show, the all-encompassing everything that is the Cosmic 13, perfectly transcends taking magic flight and returning to the one, magic tone one, once again. God's source is calling you to actively listen. Can you feel the presence of white wind riding on the waves of pure cosmic consciousness? So blessed dear ones, a powerful day for listening and communicating in pure devotion to spirit as you hold the pure presence of unconditional love through your being. Today's question is, how can I surrender to the voice of spirit holding the pure presence of unconditional love in my heart? And so we bid adieu to O.C., the beautiful, loyal, and devoted white dog who has cracked open our hearts through compassion for our fellow humans, friends, family, countrymen, and complete strangers who have endured horrific suffering on a large scale, the helpless and vulnerable animals who have perished in the millions, the lives lost, the hopelessness and pure terror of survival. It has been a very extreme lesson in bonding with our fellow humans, through cherished unions of caring for each other in the darkest hours. Many people are heartbroken, but their spirit remains strong, and their souls will thrive from the shared experiences and stories they tell. For now, we are global family. Any hurt is our collective hurt, as we are learning the treasure of oneness. Of course, all roads lead us back home to source and that is through the power of unconditional love. For why else do we incarnate in a body but to experience love in all its forms? Tomorrow we commence a brand new wave spell as we journey deep into the dream time with Akbal, the mystical, intuitive blue knight, who will guide us into the deep subconscious dreaming that holds the keys of awakening collective abundance. And so our journey through the dream spell continues in these miraculous evolutionary times. Bon voyage, precious starseeds. Divine blessings for a totally cosmic bliss expansion into eternity. Kin 182, White Cosmic Wind. The mantra, the code for the day is, I endure in order to communicate. Transcending breath, I seal the input of spirit. With the cosmic tone of presence, I am guided by the power of death. And all deaths lead us to transformation and transcendence and into rebirth, the rebirth of the new earth, the awakening of all star seeds, all light workers, warriors of the light. As we awaken from the dream of the old, the false, the temporary, into that which is real, the eternal, pure, bliss, consciousness. Let us know in the comments below what you're experiencing through these massive activations, these intense energy waves. Let us know what you're seeing, what you're feeling, your visions, what you see for the new earth. And if you're new to this channel, please subscribe by clicking the subscribe button below this video. We appreciate all the comments, all the thumbs up, and everyone that is sharing these videos to get these messages out to a larger collective. We are all in this together, beloved beings of light. We are ascending as one collective consciousness through eternity into the infinite and beyond as all timelines, all dimensions, all realms merge together into this now of eternal life and eternal light. Namu Amida Butsu, Namu Amida Butsu, Namu Amida Butsu, as we are all here now, 
reborn in the pure land of eternal bliss. Have a beautiful and blessed day and full moon eclipse. Galactivation portal as the 12 strand crystalline DNA of the code 144 fully activated through the rainbow bridge activating the rainbow body of the homo luminous human beings of the light i love you all namaste